Team World. Earlier today, I worked with the Mazacoyan team to uh, to etch uh, proof of existence stamps for their latest release of Maza Core 0 0.10.2.0. Uh, and, and now that those uh, proof of existence are actually on the Mazacoin blockchain, I wanted to show you how easy it is to verify uh, a file using a PERTIS uh, once uh, it has been, uh, once a proof of existence has been put in place. So let's uh, say, for instance, uh, you have uh, someone has sent you a uh, Mazacoin uh, executable uh, files. I have, I have a bunch of them here. I have some here from for Linux, uh, Mac, and Windows. Uh, and uh, they gave these to you, but uh, let's say uh, you want to, uh, before you upgrade, let's say this is a new version, and before you upgrade it to the new version, you wanted to verify that this is actually a, a authentic uh, file to be using uh, that, that was basically released by the uh, Maza Core Development Network team. So if you wanted to verify that that was the case, uh, you could uh, use the PERTIS. And uh, to do that, uh, I'll show you right now. So basically, you want to go to the file, uh, and then uh, actually before before that, you you would first want to select the blockchain that you're using. Uh, so for this scenario, these proof of existence uh, for the Mazacoin development work are actually on the Mazacoin blockchain. So I will connect to Mazacoin, and then we'll select file proof search. And I'm, I'm going to search by file because I don't actually know what the hash is. Uh, and then I'm going to browse out to the uh, space, the file that I downloaded. And I'm going to select the one that I'd like to, to review. Uh, so this is one that I was probably going to set up. So let's uh, select it. Select open. And uh, so what Apertus actually did uh, is it, it created a hash of that file. Uh, and then it imported the hash into your wallet and then it did a search based off of a hash for any, any files that might have been uh, already uh, inserted. And then it returned the first result, and here it is. And you can see the first result for this is, uh, for that file that I clicked on, uh, it gets, it's giving me the file name of uh, Windows 32, which is the one that I uh, actually wanted. It's also giving me a direct link to, to, the, to the full file uh, out uh, using IPFS. Uh, and then I can also see here that it's been uh, that's that the Maza profile uh, was used. Uh, so this is and it was signed by uh, the Maza development network team. So I know that this is an official release uh, from Maza because of all of this. So uh, that's uh, one of the kind of neat little features, uh, that one of the functionalities that is a part of Apertus is the ability to uh, really quickly verify the, uh, the authenticity of a file before you execute it. All right, thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.